So for the CNO minus Lewis structure, there really are two ways to draw it. The first is as the cyanate ion. So according to the rules that we have for Lewis structures and taking into account formal charges, the cyanate ion is really the best way to draw this if you're just given CNO minus and told to draw a Lewis structure. But if you're told to draw the fulminate ion, that's going to be a little different. Fulminate actually exists. It's a real molecule. So we can draw a Lewis structure for it. And it has 16 total valence electrons. And remember, this counts as one valence electron up here. So instead of putting carbon at the center of the structure, because carbon's the least electronegative, that's what we normally do with Lewis structures, we're just going to draw it as written. So that's going to be C, N, and then O. We have a total of 16 valence electrons for the CNO minus Lewis structure. Let's put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. Then we'll go around the outside, and we've used four valence electrons so far, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and we've used all the valence electrons we have. You can see that both the carbon and the oxygen have an octet. They have eight valence electrons, but the central nitrogen only has four valence electrons. Carbon is less electronegative than oxygen, so let's take a pair of electrons from carbon and share it to form a double bond. Now the carbon still has eight, but the nitrogen in the center, it has six, and we're still only using 16 valence electrons. Let's take another pair and make it a triple bond. So now the carbon has eight, the nitrogen in the center, it has eight, the oxygen has eight, and we used all 16 valence electrons. One thing we do need to do, since it's an ion, is put brackets and a negative sign around it to show that it's an ion. If we check the formal charges, we'll see that when we add them up, we have a negative charge. That makes sense because this is negative. So our net charge for the formal charges is negative one. Not quite as good as the cyanate ion, but still okay, and enough that the fulminate ion actually exists in nature. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for the fulminate ion, and thanks for watching.